Good evening, by the way. No. He doesn't. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. Let's do it. It's go time. Positive mental attitude. And you know this, man! So today's video is about the time that I was in Shanghai and the situation presented itself and there was the opportunity to buy a knuckle duster. Let me explain my reasons as to why I wanted to buy such a thing. A friend said to me, what do you do to protect yourself when you're traveling? So I kind of thought, well, what do I do to protect myself when I'm traveling? And he said, you know, do you, do you, have, a, do you have a knife in your backpack? Any kind of survival thing? That, uh, that... And I thought, who wants to carry a knife? That, that kind of puts you in a category of being a certain type of person. And I've never wanted to be that guy. You know? But it did get me thinking if a situation was to arise. For me, a knife is like a shotgun in the sense that if you were ever in a situation where you felt the need to use it for safety reasons, it could easily be turned uh, against you and you probably regret having it to begin with. Anyway, somebody else suggested, why don't I get uh, a knuckle duster? It goes across all your knuckles in a situation, but see, I have, I have issues with all of these. And do you want to be the guy then who's carrying this knuckle duster around? Because I believe that the energy you put into the universe comes back at you. So if you want to be somebody who's carrying around a weapon, then maybe you're going to be tested at some point that you need to use it. There was the opportunity to buy a knuckle duster. It was right outside the station, super cheap. So I thought I'm going to buy it and think later. Now, unbeknown to me, when I walked back into the metro station, I put it into a bag and your bags everywhere on the underground metro, they go through a metal detector. So it flagged up and they said that I absolutely couldn't have that. In hindsight, if I'd put it in my pocket, it wouldn't have been an issue. But because I put it into my bag and the bag went through the metal detector, they took it off me. So I was saying to uh, my friend who was translating, okay, can I have it back and I'll take it back outside and get the money back? No, 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 they're confiscating it, they're taking it. What the, what, what, what is this? Does he take it back outside and get the money that I spent on it? I don't know. I, I didn't really think it was a scam, but I did, however, think it was very, very questionable. But it's, uh, you know, those situations are what they are. And there are a lot of things in China that are somewhat questionable. <laughs> something that I would ever need. The situation presented itself, but it made for an interesting situation because I don't think my, my friend, the interpreter, she didn't realize that I purchased it because I also bought some very cool stuff. Um, Tibetan singing bowls for meditation, that kind of thing. So I think when the guy was saying to her, presumably that I had this item that I couldn't take through on the Metro because it was considered to be a weapon. <gasps> She didn't know what he was referring to. Why would you want to buy that? Oh. 
But again, it was, it was just the advice of some other people that had mentioned that I should safeguard myself whilst traveling. situation became something that it didn't need to be it was blown up into something far bigger on advice of numerous other people it was about something to safeguard myself you know I've never been this knucklehead guy who's into weapons no not, not at all Maybe you can hide it. Maybe, in a big it's one. maybe. It's, but you still take a risk. If you get the wrong place, they may yeah. grab you and take you away. Well, I know that now. I just, it, that didn't factor to me, you know, I thought I pulled outside. Hey, your bags are gone. Yeah. You ain't got a passport. Oh, it's a dangerous one. So I was kind of glad about how the situation played out with the universe being that I'd purchased the thing and then it was taken away from me because you don't really want to be traveling with uh, something like that. I've done fine without it up until this point. So, yeah. Yeah. If somebody really wants to take your items, wants to rob you, then they will do the best to do just that. You know, if they want to take your phone, your yada yada yadas, and your your yada yada yadas, they're they're quite expensive. You know, they're way more expensive than phones. So out of the two, let them take the phone, but not the yada yada yadas. You know. <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> And what would arise in this situation if you bought this item? Essentially, you're buying it out of fear. And fear is not a good thing to travel with. The way that fear will grip you, it will ensure that you have this item on you at all times. I believe that that's sending a bad message then out to the universe of your expectations. Your thoughts become your reality, so it goes full circle. So I think if I was to carry any kind of protective measure whilst traveling, it would evoke the situation presenting itself. I truly do. So I shall travel the way I've always traveled with PMA and no fear.